Hello everyone and welcome to another Comfy UI tutorial. Today we'll be building a workflow to utilize Style Alliance with SDXL. This is a very easy workflow. We'll be building out this together. Uh, on the one hand, we will make a batch of images that have an aligned style. We will compare this to the standard SDXL output. We will also encode the latent so that we can steer the style that we're going to use with a init image. Okay, so let's get started. As usual, we're going to make a new workflow, right? And let's start as we always do. So this gives me already a layout for 1.5, but we will delete this. And we will start as we always do. So with the load checkpoints, we will use as the excel for this one as the excel dynavision i will also load my vie as we always do there we go and we color code this to in purple so there we go and as you have seen in my previous videos i like to use anything everywhere so we connect clip vie because this model has a baked VAE in it, so we don't need to connect the other VAE. But we leave it here in case we change a model. It's always very useful to have. What else will we need? We're going to need an empty latent for SDXL. Empty latent image SDXL. This is great as it has already preset resolutions. Let's keep it at square for now. We will also add an anything everywhere to the latent because you never know if we might need any empty latents later and we also want to control our seeds so let's color code this blue cyan all right okay so this specific notes allows us to control the seeds throughout the different case samplers or the different samplers so maybe randomize for each node is good but as for now we will start with fixed all right so what else do we need we need to use the batch prompt scheduler right so for sdxl all right so this node looks a bit complicated but we'll break it down and it's actually very simple so as usual we will build backwards but therefore we need to expose some of the inputs so that we can use like primitive nodes to put this in let's start with the pre-g and pre-l right so we want to expose pre-g and pre-l there we go and we will use these ones with primitive node right here which allows us to input it into anything this is the template we'll be using so pre-text is the start of the prompt so let's name this pre-subject then we will need the subject And lastly, we will need our enhancers or after subjects. Let's continue. Clip G and clip L will be our subject. So let's expose that. And so I think it's No. Text G, text L. You can wire these in. And then after G and L. There we go. Okay, so now that we have this down, which is great. We can color code our prompt. Green. And we will utilize the same prompts that were in the example. I've copied them here. So 
or maybe we can use another example let's let's use this one which is a previous example i've made let's limit it to perhaps five so we have enough for example purposes but we don't have to wait too long and after the subject we want to add our additional text prompts like vector illustration flat background maybe drop shadow anything like that cool or also inside of Banksy to make them really cool all right so now we have our conditioning our models our setup so we are almost ready to go to the case sample last thing i would like to do is also add a negative and prompt everywhere so let's start with prompts everywhere we already have our positive now we need a click text encode for sdxl like this one we can color code it red and also take one of our primitives here expose again the inputs so that we can utilize the primitive node here and we want to color code this red so that we know that this is our negative so i have already some negative prompts ready which is text watermark and some negative embeddings for sdxl we have our prompt going so now we can plug in our negative as well so as always i like to use a higher value here there we go so now that we have this done we can go to the case sampler the case sampler for style aligned is the same when you use the simple batch prompting right so then you can use a normal case sampler which we will go for and the only note that we have to keep in mind is the one from style aligned that allows us to do batches aligned so style aligned batch align is the one we need for this particular use case so we will put it right here and it has a few settings share norm you want to keep on both i i don't really see any difference using these share the tension we have q plus k or q plus k plus v which stands for key and values i believe and queries queries not sure but i think that's what it stands for and it boils down to how intensive you want the style to be aligned and how many variables it needs to basically keep into account so the more the more aggressive the styling is we can leave it at q plus k for now and the scale the default is one basically it tells you how heavy you want the alignment to be and i'll leave it at one just for now okay so you can fiddle with that later so maybe we can start with the style aligned we can decode this Right, we have our VAE already going in from our anything everywhere. And we'll preview this. Let's take it to do this. And let's make an example use case as well. So what we want to do is copy the case sample only. Everything is already wired. We have our latent image. We have everything going. The only thing we need is a decoder and then another preview window so let's hit q and see what happens oh another cool tip while we wait is another node i found that i didn't know about when you go to node utils you have terminal log manager this specific node basically allows you to see your terminal within comfy ui so you want it to be logging maybe the last 50 lines and from now it will always display what's going on in the terminal in the last 50 lines. good 
Now, what, what actually happened? So it generated the first image. They're both very similar. Now, the thing about style aligned is that it can generate this consistent style throughout the several images. Now we completely failed because we didn't put our batch size up. And that's most likely the reason why we have one image. So we want to put it up a little to five max frames. Let's yeah, 120. Let's leave it at that. Doesn't matter. So here we go. Now we should have five, five images coming out in a consistent style while LSDXL will most likely give us very different images, although we're utilizing the same fonts. Let's see it. Okay, so cool. Here we have the five images. And let's see what SDXL does. All right, so as you can see, Style Aligned made all the different pictures aligned in style, so they look all very similar, while SDXL gives us many variations that maybe you were not looking for. Let's run this once more. Our seats are fixed, so we want to maybe randomize for now, because I still want to use the same seats. Let's step up the steps a little, lower the CFG perhaps to seven, something like that. Let's keep it fair. So here we also want to do the same seven and let's use another sampler here. Keras as well. Okay, let's run this once more. Maybe we can lower our terminal a little bit. All right, so once more you see how very different they are and how Style Aligned keeps a consistent background and a similar style throughout the different pictures. Good, now that we have this down, as always, let's group this. So what we can do is add group for selected nodes and this will be Style Aligned. Also, what you could also do is select them all and make a template out of it. So if in later workflows, you want to use this particular piece, you can always use it. However, it's very much the same as any other batch prompt scheduler workflow. Very simple. Just keep in mind that you need to add the style aligned batch aligned node. Good. Let's encode a latent, which is a bit more tricky but I'm sure we will manage as it's still very easy. So let's load an image. We want to maybe we'll have an image ready here that we can use. Okay, so we have our little bear that you saw earlier. Let's make him a little bit bigger. There we go. So we want to encode this image so we can work with it in the latent space. What I just realized is that our VAE is not wired. So basically what we want to do is unbypass every node that is connected to anything and everywhere so that we can still use them down below. There we go. So now this will not execute, but this will be still kept into account. All right. So we have our VA encode, what else do we want? We want to use an unsampler. There we go, we want to use the unsampler so that we can encode this image more efficiently. We're gonna already tune in our latent image. Perhaps what we can do is, uh, so let's, Copy this 
text and code here, put him twice. We will need a new prompt for this, so we can still utilize the same model. That's not so much of an issue. So let's keep this here, color code this green. And now we also want to add our prompt. So again, a primitive here and our negative, I believe we can just copy paste this one and it will serve the same purpose. Good. Let's move this a little to the right and organize it as we always do. There I go. There. Okay, so I see the titles are okay. Is it there? Our model is already wired, so we keep that as is. Maybe sign. Okay, we have 20 steps. CFG 1.5, let's say. Not sure if 1.5 is fine or 1 is maybe better. And now that we are dealing with a latent, we can't use the K sampler anymore, so we need to utilize the second node that we find in in our style alliance suite so here we have the style aligned reference sampler so this is the sampler you want to use so again we wire this the reference latent comes from the on sampler now we want to wire the sigmas let's use basic scheduler Right, right. We need a sampler. We can use the case sampler here. Maybe like this. Okay, so this is again one block. There you go. Okay, so negative, positive. Let's wire prompt here. Oops. Negative. So always make sure that you wire them correctly, because otherwise you might bump into some undesired results. There we go. And now, last but not least, we want to and decode apologies and preview. All right. So unlike IP adapter, this is a bit counterintuitive, maybe. But what we want to do is take a prompt that is approximate to what you want to see in the same style. So it's not really going to apply this style, but it's going to take a lot of the features, if you know what I mean. It's not like IP adapter. It's slightly different. So it's a bit a different logic to apply. So here we want to use a Japanese plastic toy of a panda bear, uh, flat, white background. All right. So that's looks good batch size we can do yeah maybe two is fine noise seeds some random that is fine i think this looks fine let's try it out so far no errors There you go. We have our panda that is in a very similar position and very similar style as our input image. So yes, this was Style Alliance. I hope you like it, dislike it, subscribe, unsubscribe. I'm out. Cheers.